welcome all uh, today we'll be uh, discussing a c++ program uh, to show the use of uh, destructor to start with i'll be opening uh, a new file and in order to maximize this uh, window i'll be pressing f5 here i'll be writing a single line comment uh, c++ program to show the use of destructor so here I'll be including a few header files hash include iostream.h uh, and in addition to this I'll be including uh, coni.h so after that uh, I'll be declaring a class called as num and uh, I'll close this class within this I'll be having two access specific called as a private and then public so within the public uh, access specifier so here I'll be declaring a constructor a member function and within that I'll be declaring uh, one more uh, uh, member function called as a display so and after that I'll be declaring a destructor by using a delete sign and then I'll be uh, writing the member function name uh, or the destructor name so here point to be noted is here the num here this is nothing but the constructor and this is nothing but the destructor one important point that you need to uh, keep in mind is the class name as well as the constructor name and as well as the destructor name all will be the same so now within this private part I'll be declaring a few uh, data members like uh, x and I'll be writing the code for uh, the member functions so here the constructor I need to write the uh, code for that so first the constructor will not have any written type and here I'll be using the scope resolution of data and writing the code for the constructor that is as soon as an object is created the constructor is invoked so here I'll just display a message called as in constructor and after that I'll close this and uh, I'll introduce a black line and then I'll initialize x is equal to 100 and after this I'll be calling the destructor and for this I'll be using a tilde sign and followed by num and here what I'll do is I'll display a statement of co and within double quotes I'll say in destructor and after that I'll close this and I'll introduce a flat line and then uh, I'll come to the third member function that is called as void display or uh, for that uh, the trend type of uh, display is void so here I have to uh, include the void over here because the display member function is not returning any uh, return type and uh, this display belongs to uh, uh, what is called as a num class so therefore what I'll say I'll say num followed by scope resolution of data and then the member function name that is display so within this I'll just display CO uh, what I'll do is I'll say value of x is equal to and after that I'll display the x value and introduce a end line and here I'll be writing the code for void main so within this I'll be using uh, a clear screen function that is ELR SCR to clear the output screen which is defined in Kony.h uh, and after that I have to declare an object uh, that is class followed by an object name and here object name dot uh, member function name so note that here as soon as the object is created the constructor is called and as soon as the function is over the destructor is called so now in order to save this particular file I'll press I'll go to file and click on save here I'll say destructor 
and I'll save the uh, file and again I'll press F9 to check out whether any uh, syntax error is there or not. In this case we don't have so therefore I'll press Ctrl F9. So you can see that in destructor the destructor is called and after that value of x is equal to 100. Now still the program is in execution so therefore you don't uh, say or you won't execute the destructor part. When I come back to the main screen and now when I say Alt F5, now you can see that once the program execution is finished, the destructor is called, that is the destructor member function is called and you will come out of the program. And this is how you will write a C++ program to show the use of destructor. Thank you.